Hello, co-creators. I am Kelly Keith, and I do not care about labels anymore because labels do not matter. That was a channeled message that I had gotten not very long ago when I was in Egypt back in March. And I could go on and on and on about labels that represent me, but they don't matter. So today I want to discuss <clears throat> energy messages came through this morning for this video. This was a guided message and I just want to share with you vibration, the level of vibration. Okay. Humans like to describe vibration on different levels by using words like dimensions, um, frequency, when vibration is energy in motion. And this video is going to discuss some pretty heavy energy at the beginning and then it's going to escalate towards the end of the video and it's going to raise your vibration but we're going to kind of be in the third dimension energy very heavy energy of discussing fear-mongering okay so fear-mongering is a message that came through that needs to be discussed with the collective right now because fear mongering is not okay and you need to learn your uh, discernment to live with discernment and know how to trust your inner GPS system when it comes to fear mongering fear mongers okay so that could be what is fear mongering Fear mongering is somebody trying to take your personal power away by instilling or uh, giving you fear, putting out fear based messages <clears throat> through media. Um, so, in your feed, uh, your algorithms, um, the news, um, families' conversations, uh, strangers' conversations conversing about fear-based subjects you need to set your boundaries right now I got the message that this is coming through for the collective very strong right now with other psychics and spiritual coaches life coaches if any messages are coming through in your life right now that are these are going to block you and sabotage your success from expanding and raising your vibration to the, like humans like to use dimensions. I'm going to use dimensions to explain, but dimensions really don't exist. It's just as above, so below energy. And we need to balance the in-between because a present moment state is where our magic is to co-create with our divine self, our higher self, our over soul. The present moment is a present. It is a gift. This is where we can create. But as above, as above, so below is all there truly is. But the dimensions, okay? The third dimension is the physical reality. The fourth dimension is becoming aware and awakened to this reality and the power you have to create. The fifth dimension is living in unconditional love. So when you're in that vibration of energy, you, it's easier for you to create with your oversoul's energy as a team, your unseen team to be able, because that's their energy, unconditional love. So always choosing to live in that energy. But fear mongering, okay, let's back up a little bit. You feel that energy? Okay, we're going back down. So fear mongering is heavy energy. This is energy that deep breath. Okay. 
fear mongering is trying to take your personal power away and to keep you stuck. Let me give you an example of what I've been experiencing right now that matches this energy. For fun, just for fun and entertainment, I went and saw a psychic at a fair here while I'm in Oregon, in Salem, the state fair, okay? There is a psychic there, I'm not using any names, that I experienced um, when I first sat down, told me that they focus on future messages. And me as a person, I don't resonate with that because my all my tarots and stuff and any messages I give are in the present state. Reading, I'm an energy reader, healer of energy that is current right now, okay? That is one label that I am, is an energy reader, healer. And I believe in, in energy reading in the current moment not tomorrow's energy, not yesterday's energy, but yes, whatever you do today does create your tomorrows. And whatever energy you did yesterday, you can recreate by just getting a new perspective, gaining a new perspective of that past. It can help you in the present state to build your future tomorrow. But today is always the energy that you should stay in. So right away, I had this gut feeling that it was not going to be a message that I needed to hear because anything she had to tell me is future based. But I went ahead with it anyway, just for fun. I was trying to just, you know, have fun, be lighthearted. And the energy in the messages was heavy. The energy in the messages, a lot of stuff she said was pretty, she's a no tools reader. I love tools. She also began with a bunch of tools like I do. I use all the different divination tools. That's perfect tools, godly tools that are here for us to connect with our perfect selves, right? Divination tools. Okay, so like tarot, um, sound, um, colors, uh, oracle messages, dice, pendulums, um, sky rings, so crystal balls, crystals, um, angel boards, things like that, okay? Those are tools that I use. She did use those in her past when she first started 30 years ago. The point of this conversation is fear mongering. She started to give me messages that were really heavy and fear based. And no matter how advanced I feel in my spiritual uh, education and knowledge, right? It still can block my energy without me being aware. So once I became aware, that's the first step. Then I had to disconnect and cut my cords and then say that and claim that this was not my truth. Okay. But it took me a few days in this energy and somebody trying to take advantage. Okay. And the amount of money that was being asked from me was over the amount that I was comfortable with. And at the same time, the messages were not resonating. They were, but they weren't resonating with me because they were fear-based. So my point is, is when somebody tells you that they're the only ones, and I'm a spiritual coach, right? So I'm like, I can do my protection on myself. That's, I have my personal power. I don't need to seek outside for assistance, okay? You only need to do that when you aren't knowledgeable of how to do it yourself. And you should always seek somebody that's teaching you how to do it yourself, okay? Because our personal power is within us. So we have the power to protect ourselves. We don't need someone else to do it for us. You do not need to pay somebody to protect you, okay? Unless you need the guidance to learn how to do it yourself, yes, go ahead, but only pay for what you're comfortable with is my message today, okay? 
And it should never be thousands and thousands of dollars. That is ridiculous. When it's something you can do yourself, okay? My message is that not one person, whenever somebody is giving you fear-based messages and saying that they are the only ones that can help you, that you can't help yourself, that is not okay. You need to use your discernment and use your gut to know that this person is not for you. This message was not for you. Do not claim those messages, okay? Um, And if you have any kind of connection to a message that you are receiving, that is, it is truth, then you need to protect yourself. You need to learn how to protect yourself. It is as simple as um, cleansing your energy in a bath of water or going to an ocean um, to cleanse your energy with the intention to cleanse your, in- cleanse your energy of any negative DNA that is attached to you, transmuting it with golden light, and then pouring it that liquid golden light back over your being to raise your vibration. That is all you need to say. There's other ways that you can do it. You can put yourself in a golden, not a golden, I'm sorry, a white light bubble, like you're a bubble person, um, of protection. You're putting yourself, imagining a bubble of protection over yourself. You can do this daily. Just once a day is all it is needed. Um, Sometimes when I'm taking long trips, I put my whole vehicle in a bubble of protection, white light bubble of protection. Okay, only allowing in positive people and positive experiences is what you should say. You can add in whatever else you would like, okay? You are in full control of these protections on yourself. Please do not allow fear mongers to make you feel powerless. You have the power to protect yourself at all times. That is my message today. Now that was really heavy and Now you are in full awareness and you have the full power right now to take your personal power back from this message as well and just take the wisdom from my message to help yourself and guide yourself to a higher state of consciousness and living in unconditional love at all times with no judgments of self or others. And I hope you enjoyed this message. joining me and bye for now.